EastEnders latest update. What happened to Stephen Beale in EastEnders as Mum Cindy returns? Cindy Beals, Michelle Collins, iconic return to EastEnders has brought a lot of nostalgia for fans, as her eventful backstory is revisited. One character getting several mentions is her eldest child, the late Stephen Beale. But with Stephen now long dead, some are wondering exactly what happened to him. And there are plenty in the episode of on Wednesday, 30th, August 2023, Cindy was seen telling daughters Anna, Molly Rainford, and Gina Knight, Francesca Henry, about their half siblings, including the late Lucy Beale, Hetty Bywater, and Stephen, who passed away a few years after Lucy. So, if you're keen for a reminder of Stephen's story, RadioTimes.com is here to fill in all the gaps. What happened to Stephen Beale in EastEnders? Stephen was the firstborn child of Cindy, fathered by Simon Wicks, Nick Barry. But at the time, Cindy was married to Ian, who believed that Stephen was his son until Cindy revealed the truth. Ian raised Stephen as his own, but when the Beale marriage turned sour, Cindy hired a hitman on Ian and fled the country with Stephen and younger son Peter. When Cindy was captured and sent to prison, Ian later heard that she had died in childbirth, and in the years before her bombshell resurrection, Stephen grew into a troubled teen, memorably played by Edward Savage. Feeling abandoned by a series of stepmothers and neglected by Ian, Stephen rebelled and wrote several poison pen letters. Ian told Stephen that he wasn't his real father, and a distressed and angry Stephen left Walford to meet biological father Simon in 2002 staying with him in New Zealand for the next five years. In 2007, Stephen was back, played now by Aaron Sidwell. Stephen began stalking Ian, haunting him by pretending to be Cindy. He lured Ian to some flats, taking him hostage. But upon reuniting with siblings Lucy and Peter and grandmother Pat Evans, Pam C. Clements, Stephen realized that Ian had always loved him and he showed Lucy what he had done to Ian. Stephen and Ian had a confrontation, where Stephen's resentment was finally laid bare as he admitted that living with Simon had not been a happy time. Stephen tried to take his own life with a gun, but during the struggle to stop him, Ian's wife Jane, Lori Brett, was shot, and her life-saving operation left her unable to have children of her own. Ian took Stephen to a psychiatric hospital, but upon release he chose not to take his medication. Rejected by the Beals, Stephen made another attempt on his life by pouring petrol over himself, but was stopped from setting himself on fire by Stacy Slater, Lacey Turner. Stephen's fragile state of mind led Ian to reconcile with him, but Stephen was humiliated again when Jane's brother Christian Clark, John Partridge, exposed him as a liar when Stephen claimed he had slept with Stacy. After a showdown, Stephen tried to kiss Christian but insisted he was straight when questioned and framed Christian for trying to seduce him. Ian eventually discovered that Lucy, who he thought had run away, had actually been hidden away by Stephen. Stephen wanted to send Lucy to France so he could have more of Ian's attention. But when Pat discovered this, Stephen tried to smother Pat with a pillow, stopped by Ian. Ian found Lucy and told Stephen to leave and never return or Ian would kill him. Stephen returned to New Zealand in 2008, but headed back to Walford in 2016 with Lauren Branning, Jacqueline Jossa, and her son by Peter Louis. Stephen claimed to have changed and wanted to make amends and help repair the family amid Bobby's confession of Lucy's murder. Ian accepted this, but later learned that Lauren and Stephen were an item. Stephen became the manager of Ian's restaurant only to stage a burglary to pay some debts and commit a series of thefts. Jane discovered Stephen's actions, and he claimed that he was trying to help a troubled Peter. But when Lauren was charmed by another man, Stephen sabotaged their contraception to get her pregnant, and Lauren had a secret abortion. Lauren's sister, Abby Branning, Lorna Fitzgerald, told Stephen, and the pair had a fling. The affair was ongoing, but Stephen kept his grasp on Lauren and lied to her that he had a terminal brain tumor so she would stay with him. Lauren and AB's father Max Branning, Jake Wood, blackmailed Stephen after finding out, ordering him to set fire to a flat for him. 
But Jane was to min the know about Stephen's lies too, and she revealed that Abe was pregnant. Stephen didn't believe her, and he set fire to the restaurant, leaving Jane for dead. Stephen and Max thought Lauren was trapped inside and ran into the flames. Max urged Stephen to kill Jane, but he refused. So Max attacked Stephen, who was rushed to hospital and died after a cardiac arrest. Stephen's daughter Abby Jr. was born in 2018, with mother Abby dying from a fall from the Queen Vic roof soon after. Abby Jr. was last seen leaving to stay with grandfather Max abroad, having previously been cared for by her great aunt Rainy Highway, Tanya Franks. Thanks for watching these videos. Please hit the subscribe button and give this video thumbs up.